What's up, it's Parker. Welcome back to the channel. You read the title right. I'm gonna tell you how you can start your own vending machine, bulk machine, arcade machine business 100% for free. That's how I started, and I'll just walk you guys through how I did it. About a couple months back, um, you know, I'm really into, you know, listening to Gary Vee's podcast and stuff like that. And one of the things he talks about a lot is flipping stuff or reselling stuff. Um, he'll go to like a garage sale or something, find something for a dollar and sell it for 20. You know, same kind of concept. And, um, you know, as I'm sure some of you guys know in my previous videos, you've seen me and my girlfriend Alyssa going out. Um, you know, to, to trash piles where there's a bunch of stuff, or garage sales, or, um, you know, sometimes people even give us stuff for free that they just don't want, and we end up selling it and making, you know, some really good profits. Over these last couple months, we've been doing that a lot, and, and with zero capital up front, you know, with literally dollars. I started my first garage selling experience with ten dollars that ten dollars turned into twenty that twenty turned into fifty and that fifty turned to hundreds hundreds and even into eventually thousands so you can literally start with nothing this is exactly what me and my girlfriend did we were flipping 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 like crazy one day i was going i was on youtube searching searching the internet and jamie I don't know his last name, it starts with an I. One of his videos popped up. And right now, it I mean, it's super viral. It's probably got like a million or two million views by now um, about him and his vending machine and how he makes money from his vending machine business. And I was like, wow, that's really interesting. So I clicked it, smashed that like button, and watched it. And I, I mean, at first I never even realized like, people actually own those vending machines. I always thought like at school, like the schools owned them or like Coca-Cola owned them. I didn't know it was actual individual people that own the vending machines that come restock it and everything like that. So once I learned that, it kind of opened up this whole new portal in my brain of opportunity. And I started researching more and then I found, you know, the bulk candy machines and, you know, Quick Place Channel, All Things Gumball, all these other YouTubers that were doing this and seeing each success with it. And I was like, what the heck? Like, I'm flipping stuff. With this money that I'm flipping stuff, I can invest in candy machines. And then from there, scale even more. So that's what we did. So that's just kind of some background information. So step one you look up some garage sales or you can literally just drive around the neighborhood and find some garage sales or see some interesting stuff on trash day that people are throwing out like furniture or uh, you know old toys that are still in good condition you know stuff that you see value in literally just go go around the neighborhood pick up some stuff, throw it in, in your car. If you have a truck that's even better, you can put stuff in the bed of your truck, bigger stuff like furniture, shelves. I've flipped a lot of furniture. Furniture sells really good, especially in um, you know Houston where there was Harvey. A lot of people got flooded out and are looking for cheap furniture to restock their house even a year, a year and a half after Hurricane Harvey hit. After you found whatever it is that you got, maybe you spent a dollar on a coffee mug at Goodwill and you're gonna sell it on eBay for five bucks. Or maybe you found a dresser on the side of the road and you got it for free and you're gonna sell it for 50 bucks. Um, so you keep doing that a while, pretty soon you've got a couple hundred bucks. And you're gonna see how easy it's, it is to get from zero to a couple hundred dollars just going out and hustling. So after you've, you've made a couple hundred dollars, off of selling stuff on Facebook, eBay, whatever it is. Um, you're gonna take that couple hundred dollars and then you're gonna go ahead and start looking on Facebook Marketplace for deals on candy machines. And then start messaging some people. Not everyone's gonna get back, but that's the benefit of always being on there because you're always gonna see the freshest deals and the newest deals that are up. 
and that way you can message them, uh, make sure everything works on it, make sure you know the locks work, make sure they have keys, um, and you know just just bargain with them and chat with them and and see if there's um, some middle ground. Maybe they want a hundred and you offer 60 right now, hard cash, you'll come pick it up right now, and you guys might meet at 75. Boom, $75 for a vending machine, or for a candy machine is a great deal, and you can even find them cheaper. I mean, my girlfriend bought 17 candy machines um, for $1,300, so it came out to about 70, 75 a piece, which is pretty good, and you know, those are gonna pay themselves off real quick and more so now that you've got your candy machine your vending machine whatever it is um, then you can actually start your candy machine business so I'd recommend getting a triple head or, or a double you can get a single if you want and put some gumballs in there but I've seen that unless you get a really good location with this with a single head that's great but other than that, the triple heads are better because there's more selection, obviously. All right, so after you've found a good deal on your candy machines, you go and pick it up and everything, and you have your first candy machine that you started with no money. You went to some garage sales, you saved up some money after flipping stuff, and now you've bought your first candy machine. So the next step, something I forgot about, that you actually need to, to buy candy to put in the vending machine. So um, you need to account for actually buying candy. Um, I found that Sam's Club, um, Costco, maybe even Walmart if you don't want to get a membership. But Sam's Club is probably the best. And also there's some other places online like CandyMachine.com, um, Gumball Warehouse, you know, there's, there's a bunch of other places. Um, for you to buy candy in bulk. Um, I've even got stuff off Amazon. I mean, to fill each one, you're looking at probably a good 30, 40 dollars maybe for uh, for candy to, to make it look presentable. And so now you've got a fully stocked vending machine. You're into your vending machine business at about, uh, if you bought the machine for say 70 bucks, you spent 30 on candy, say you're in at about 100 bucks. I mean, I literally sold one dresser that I found on the side of the road for free. These people were moving and there was a super nice dresser on the side of the road. Me and my girlfriend picked it up, loaded it into the bed of the truck and we made $100, 105 actually, um, off of that. And it was 100% profit. So literally just that would be able to fund your candy machine business. Um, so after you've, you've got the machine and everything, then it's time to actually look for locations. Um, that's easy. I mean, if you know people, start with your existing network. Um, people you know, your friends, your mom's friends, your dad's friends, your uncles, your aunts, your dog's best friend's uncle, you know, whoever. You're going to get your foot in the door better with them, obviously, because you know them. And that's how I landed my first two locations. Uh, my girlfriend's mom's office and um, the place I work at. I talked to my boss and I got those two locations off the bat. The other two locations that I have right now, I got off messaging uh, businesses on Facebook. Um, you know, hey, my name's Parker, tell them why you started your vending machine business and stuff. Um, I was just like, hey, my name's Parker, um, me and my girlfriend started a vending machine business, and we're trying to save some money for, you know, school, you know, real estate, school, college, um, you know, whatever it is for you. And we have a couple candy machines, and we were wondering, would you be interested in, in putting in a machine? It's 100% free to you. Uh, we'll come in, refill it, clean it, um, and we'll even give you, you know, 10% or 5% or whatever. And then just send that to 10, 20 places a day. And, you know, email, Facebook, uh, as many places as you can. It's a numbers game. And then also you can go in. Um, actually in person and say the same speech but just in person I've done that um, probably 10 or 20 times and I for some reason the Facebook approach worked better for me so back to how I got those other two machines in I messaged the place on Facebook um, it was a pizza restaurant and they were interested 
and it was actually a franchise so I got kind of a two for one special it's in one of the, the other videos I'll put it in the description um, of where I actually put the machine in and then there's also another video on my channel of where I collected from it um, so you guys can go check it out those actually did pretty well that's how I got my four locations and all of my machines all 17 of them I technically got for free I literally went out started hustling I literally started with zero to ten dollars you can either go the zero route of finding something on the road for free or you can start with a couple dollars and go to a garage sale or something and literally from there you can build a whole empire it's really crazy if you think about it but um, yeah with just a couple dollars you can literally build a flipping empire transition that into a more passive revenue stream uh, like vending machines candy machines arcade machines etc there's some other videos on my channel about actually going more in depth on actually you know finding garage sales and um, there's some videos of me actually selling stuff um, going through garage sales going through trash piles um, getting down and dirty and in the trenches with it so you guys can go check those out there's a whole playlist on my channel as well as a whole vending machine playlist so make sure to go check those out and also leave down in the comments if you go out and do this I really am curious to see who actually goes out and can actually um, do the same thing that we did you know finding stuff to sell selling it and then reinvesting and you know vending machines or something I'm really curious to see how it works for you guys in different markets in different parts of the states or maybe if this video goes outside of the states that'd be awesome so thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already um, and share with your friends it really really means a lot in the YouTube algorithm world so thank you guys so much for making it to the end and more videos to come all right, I almost forgot, but if you want to know how to start a vending machine business on the legal side of it and a more in-depth side of it, make sure to go check out Quick Play's channel. They're absolutely killing it in the vending machine game. Um, their link will be down in the description. Yeah, go check them out.